from the Tribune News Network. This is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Two stage top stars. There's no confirmation that the Delta variant of the coronavirus is in the country yet, but health officials reporting increasing virus numbers over the weekend, and some are now believing the strain may be here. The Ministry of Health releasing the weekend numbers 59 cases on Wednesday, 41 on Thursday, 49 on Friday, another 51 on Saturday. Hospital numbers up to 59 persons in, four in the intensive care. Infectious disease specialist Dr. Nikia Forbes with this reality check. There are emerging variants. They are considerably more contagious. They're 64% more contagious than the alpha strain that was first described in the United Kingdom, which was more contagious than the original COVID strain. So this Delta strain is very infectious. There's more of it in the airways of people who have this Delta strain. And so we really do have to follow those simple guidelines like wearing a mask, avoiding crowds, avoiding gatherings. Two more deaths have been confirmed, including a five-month-old girl. The total is now 254, 30 deaths still under investigation. And Prime Minister Minnis is again urging persons to get vaccinated. He says it's the quickest way out of this pandemic. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Police reporting five motives for the Independence Holiday weekend, and some may be connected, maybe retaliation of some sort, they believe. All separate incidents, all shootings in the inner city area, police say they're making progress in their initial investigations. Also closing some cases, a number of persons expected in court today to face murder and related charges, including a 25-year-old man who's going to be charged with five murders dating back to 2018 and 2019. Traffic police busy over the Independence Holiday weekend also investigating two separate fatalities, one in the Capitol, the other in Grand Bahama. Pedestrians, the victim in both cases. There's a boating accident under investigation. A boat and a jet ski collided off Rhodes Island. Six persons on the boat, two on the jet ski. The passenger on the jet ski thrown into the water by that collision. He's been identified by relatives as Drew Rigby, and he's still missing. The 2021 National Loan is released by Government House over the weekend. 16 persons from various fields being honored, including a special award for former Cabinet Minister Algernon Allen. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management, a tropical wave moving through the area, partly sunny, showers, breezy today, ice in the upper 80s, 87 at Freeport, 88 in the capital, 87 at Matthew Town. Caution flags up for boaters, winds getting up to 20 knots, the seas up to 6 feet over open waters. High tide now, the next low around 3 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, lows from the upper 70s to low 80s, no systems in the tropics to be concerned about right now. If you need additional weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. We are now in the hurricane season. Insurance Management urges you to complete your preparations and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Do you want to increase your sales? Then advertise your business in the Tribune, the leading newspaper in circulation. Reach the market that will keep your registers ringing. Give your business the maximum exposure at an affordable investment. Advertise in our Home Buyer's Guide, Insight, Women, or Obituary sections. Let us help you get your business to the Bahamas and to the world with our online advertising spots. Professional advertising reps are waiting to offer you advertising packages to suit your budget. And consultations are free. The Tribune, your answer to increased sales. Call our sales department today, 502-2394, or visit us on Shirley Street. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Tuesday's World News headlines, Haitian authorities are holding a number of suspects in connection with the recent assassination of President Moise, including a Florida resident. They're still trying to establish the motive. Major demonstrations reported in Cuba over the weekend. Thousands of persons taking to the streets to protest against the government's economic policies and its handling of the coronavirus. In North India, at least 65 persons have been killed by lightning strikes and violent weather there. Tribune's gas tracker prices for Tuesday, Shell 509, SO 507, Rubus $5.01 per gallon in the capital. 
Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Countdown to the Olympics continues. The Tribune's profile of Megan Moss in today's paper. Get the NBA Finals update. Aiken and the Suns lose Game 3 in Milwaukee. Special selection for John Quell Jones in the WNBA. Read about that. Major League Baseball at the All-Star break. The game is tonight in Denver. Read about the pregame events in the Tribune Sports. And find out the results of Wimbledon and the Euro Soccer Tournament all in the Tribune Sports Tuesday. For all your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories. In the Tribune newspaper, on the streets first thing in the morning, stay up to date online at tribune242.com.